Hello everyone. Today I am discussing divergence in terms of components and curl in terms of its components. So all of you know that divergence means which can be written in the form of del dot f. Curl means which can be written in the form of del cross f. This is known as solenoidal of vector. Divergence of uh, vector is also known as solenoidal of vector and uh, this curl of a vector function is also known as irrotational vector. Irrotational vector. So all of you know this condition. So here del dot f is equivalent to 0 and del cross f is uh, equivalent to 0. Then this is known as solenoidal and uh, this is uh, del cross f is known as irrotational. So today I am discussing divergence in terms of its components. So that can be written as take down theorem if vector f equal to f1i plus f2j plus f3k be the continuous differential vector point function function then divergence of f is equal to do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z. Here we have to prove this condition. So take down proof. This can be solved by definition. So by definition of divergence we have that is divergence of f which can be written in the form of del dot f. The given function is in vector but the result gives in scalar in divergence that can be written as i into do f by do x plus j into do f by do y plus k into do f by do z. So here we know given that vector f equal to f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k. So differentiate this partially with respect to x, y and z. So differentiate this partially with respect to x. Say this equation as 1. Differentiate partially equation 1 with respect to x. That can be written as do f by do x equal to do f1 by do x into i plus do f2 by do x into j plus do f3 by do x into k. Okay. So now I am multiplying i to both LHS and RHS. Then it gives i into do f by do x i into do f1 by do x into i cap plus do f2 by do x into j cap plus do f3 by do x into k cap. So here i dot i gives 1 and remaining term becomes 0 by properties of dot product. So the remaining term becomes do f1 by do x plus 0 plus 0. So this gives i into do f by do x is do f1 x. Do f by do x into i gives do f1 by do x. Similarly, we will solve j into do f by do y. Differentiating equation 1 partially with respect to y and multiply by j, we get j into do f by do y equal to do f1 by do y, j into do f1 by do y into i plus do f2 by do y into j plus do f3 by do z into sorry do y into k. So here again apply dot product. So this gives j into do f by do y equal to i into first term 0, j into j is 1, remaining term is do f2 by 
डो वाई प्लस डो एफ थ्री बाय डो वाई इन टू के जे डॉट के इज जीरो बाय प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डॉट प्रोडक्ट से दिस इक्वेशन एज टू एंड दिस इक्वेशन एज थ्री नेक्स्ट सिमिलरली अगेन पार्शियली डिफरेंशिएट इक्वेशन वन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू जेड देन दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एज के इन टू डो एफ बाय डो जेड इक्वल टू के इन टू डो एफ वन बाय डो जेड इन टू आई कैप प्लस डो एफ टू बाय डो जेड इन टू जे कैप प्लस डो एफ थ्री बाय डो जेड इन टू के कैप सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज के इन टू डो एफ बाय डो जेड गिवस के डॉट आई जीरो के डॉट जे जीरो के डॉट के इज वन सो दिस गिवस डो एफ थ्री बाय डो जेड से दिस इक्वेशन एज फोर सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन थ्री टू थ्री एंड फोर वी गेट फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन substitute 2 3 and 4 in equation a we get from a divergence of f is equal to i into do f by do x plus j into do f by do y plus k into do f by do z so i into do f by do x gives do f1 by do x plus j into do f by do y gives do f2 by do y plus k into do f by do z gives do f3 by do y so this is our divergence of f in terms of components got it so next second condition is curl in terms of components of f so take down theorem that is if f is equal to f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k be a continuous differential vector point function be continuous differential vector point function then prove that curl of f is curl f equal to do f3 by do y minus do f2 by do z into i plus do f1 by do z Minus do f three by do x into j plus do f two by do x minus do f one by do y into k. Otherwise, this can be written as determinant of i j k do by do x do by do y do by do z. So here f one f two F three coefficient of i j k. So curl f is nothing but del cross f. That's why here I am using determinant. Okay. So take down proof. What they had given vector f equal to f one i plus f two j plus f three k. So here curl f. Curl f can be written as i cross do f by do x plus j cross do f by do y plus k cross do f by do z by definition. So this one I am writing by definition. So I cross do f by do x, J cross do f by do y, K cross do f by do z. Differentiating this partially with respect to x, y, and z. Okay. So then curl f can be written as I cross 
do by do x f means write the components of f in terms of i j k that is f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k plus j cross do by do y of f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k so plus k cross do by do z of f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k so this can be written as i cross do f1 of do f1 by do x into i plus do f2 by do x into j plus do f3 by do x into k plus j cross do f1 by do y into i plus do f2 by do y into j plus do f3 by do y into k plus k cross do f1 by do z into i plus do f2 by do z into j plus do f3 by do z into k right so next apply the property of cross product that is i j and k so right apply this property i cross j gives k and j cross k gives i and k cross i gives j okay so here i cross i is 1 and uh, do, this becomes i cross i becomes sorry i cross i becomes 0 so first term becomes 0 and second term is do f2 by do x i cross j i cross j gives k plus do f3 by do x i cross k gives i cross k and the reverse on tethi so that is minus j ok plus do f1 by do y j cross i j cross i j cross i gives minus k plus do f2 by do y into j cross j gives 0 so here also first term 0 next plus do f3 by do y right j cross k j cross k j cross k is i Okay, plus do f1 by do z k cross i k cross i means j not k cross i and he wanted rotate so that gives j plus do f2 by do z k cross j k cross j and the minus i plus do f3 by do z k cross k value is 0. So now this can be written as do f2 by do x into k minus do f3 by do x into j minus do f1 by do y into k plus do f2 do f3 by do f3 by do y into i plus do f1 by do z into j minus do f2 by do z into i. So next combine the values in terms of i, j, k. So here first term i value. So that can be written as do f3 by do y minus do f2 by do z into i next plus j consider madri do f1 by do z minus do f3 by 
डो एक्स इंटू जे प्लस के के वैल्यूज है वो नोड्री डो एफ टू बाय डो एक्स माइनस डो एफ वन बाय डो वन सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ आई जे के डो बाय डो एक्स डो बाय डो वाई डो बाय डो जेड एफ वन एफ टू एफ थ्री सो दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड रिजल्ट फॉर कर्ल इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट्स एफ सो नेक्स्ट वी मूव टूवर्ड्स लैपलेशियन ऑपरेटर लैपलेशियन ऑपरेटर मीन्स इट इज डिफाइंड एज डेल स्क्वायर विच इज सेकेंड ऑर्डर डिफरेंशिएशन एंड इट कैन बी डिफाइंड एज डेल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू डो स्क्वायर बाय डो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस डो स्क्वायर बाय डो वाई स्क्वायर प्लस डो स्क्वायर बाय डो जेड स्क्वायर This is known as Laplacian operator. If pi is a scalar point function, pi is a scalar point function, then del square pi is in the form of scalar quantity, and it is defined as do square pi by do x square plus do square pi by do y square. Plus do square pi by do z square, which is scalar quantity. Okay. So next, suppose if it is in the vector point function, that is, if f is a vector point function, then del square f can be written as do square f by do x square. Plus do square f by do y square plus do square f by do z square, which is a vector quantity. The result gives in vector quantity. Got it? If we multiply multiply Laplacian operator with scalar quantity or scalar point function, the result is in scalar quantity. If we multiplied by Laplacian operator with vector point function, then the result gives vector quantity. So, let us see the definition of Laplace equation. Laplace equation. So, the equation del square pi equal to zero is called Laplace equation. What is the definition of Laplace equation? Here, del square pi is called Laplace equation. If it satisfies the condition of Laplace equation, then this condition is known as harmonic function. Harmonic function means a function which satisfies Laplace equation that is known as harmonic function. Got it? so this is the concept of laplacian operator next consider theorem that is show that divergence gradient pi is equal to del square pi is equal to do square pi by do x square plus do square pi by do y square plus do square pi by do z square here divergence means del sorry divergence means del del dot f here we uh, f is in the form of gradient pi that why that's why it is written in the form of del dot del pi so this is divergence f which is in the form of del dot f here f is in the form of del pi so del pi is gradient got it so this is the definition of divergence of gradient pi so take down solution so divergence of gradient pi so divergence as it is very the gradient pi can be written as del pi so write the definition of del pi that is i into do pi by do x plus j into do pi by do y plus k into do pi by do z okay So next divergence of this condition can be written as del dot i into do pi by do x 
plus j into do pi by do y plus k into do pi by do z. Okay. So next to this multiply madri then uh, or uh, write a uh, del differential operator value that is in the form of i into do by do x plus j into do by do y plus k into do by do z into i into do pi by do x plus j into do pi by do y plus k into do pi by do z okay next multiply this condition so i dot i so do by do x into do pi by do x plus j dot j do by do y into do pi by do y plus k dot k do by do z into do pi by do z so this can be written as do square pi by do x square plus do square pi by do y square plus do square pi by do z square so this is the required condition of divergence gradient pi got it okay in next class i will discuss examples on divergence and curl of a vector function thank you